What's up everyone, Lion Roar here, and this is the first in a series of videos where I'm going to cover the Bloodcraft Legends, and today we're going to start with Bloodstorm. But first, download Bloodline Heroes of Lithus, a mobile RPG action fighting game where you can marry your champions to create new and unique hybrids. Use the link in the description to start with some free stuff including gold and diamonds. See you hopefully soon. Alright, so these Bloodcraft Legend champions are some of the best in the game, but they are harder to get as a result. And I already did a video where I talked about how to actually get these. Make sure to go watch that video because I'm not going to cover it again here, but I will put a link in the description of this video. Today, I'm going to highlight uh, Bloodstorm or otherwise known as Scarlet. You can see that Bloodstorm is actually her clan name and then Scarlet is her actual name. But I tend to use the clan name when I'm talking about uh, the various champions in this game. So that's why I'm calling it Bloodstorm. But Scarlet, same thing. I know it's kind of confusing with these Bloodcraft Legends, but that's just the way it is. So you can see this is a really cool champion. I love the art. In fact, the art is what really drew me to these in the first place. But it makes sense. They're a special kind of hybrid, which is why she looks like what she does look like. And there's not a male or female version. There's just this. Scarlet <laughs> and uh, she is actually going to be set at a rarity that's equal to the hero that you link her to so although you're seeing her at 15 stars here it really depends what you have in your roster um, if you link her to your highest level champion then that is the level she's going to be to get her you need to do a special marriage between two champions and the two champions are either the male or the female from the Devala clan and then the opposite gender of the Fulgur clan. Let's look at the skills. So first of all, we have Feather Strike. The champion flaps their wings and throws Thunder Feathers to attack all enemies within a fan-shaped area in front of them, dealing damage equal to 150% of the champion's strength twice. The champion then spins around in place and throws a large number of Thunder Feathers to knock back nearby enemies and deals damage equal to 200% of the champion's strength. Now, this is a sneaky amount of damage that I've found, but also um, Scarlet uh, is just a sort of underrated champion um, based on the amount of damage and, and control effects that are happening here. Uh, let's look at the ultimate. So once she goes off, you get Ferocious Feathers. So the feathers mean something throughout all of her skills. Permeates the champion's sword with the power of thunder, dashing through enemies, slashing them for three seconds. Each slash deals damage equal to 300% of the champion's strength and chance of landing a crit attack is increased by 20%. If there is no targeted enemy, 300 energy will be returned when the slash ends. Now this is the big damage dealer part of the special and there's a couple of things going on with this that also again make her underrated in my opinion. Um, and that is that while the damage looks a little lower, her stats start out higher, especially if you can link her to a really highly leveled champion, meaning she deals a lot more damage than it looks like here. And also, um, she can actually get to difficult parts of the battlefield that other champions have a hard time getting to. Because she's slashing through enemies, she can oftentimes make it into the back row where some very... Uh, challengingly placed uh, champions tend to be or even that middle spot now that there's a uh, male bloom out there separate champion that tends to get into the back row very easily um, sometimes you're wanting to get into that middle spot the number two spot and she does a really really good job at that okay looking at protective wings now when the champion enters the battlefield white feathers will start to fall from above all enemies touched by the feathers will have their attack speed reduced by 40%. So here's a really controlling feature of Scarlet um, that I think uh, isn't valued enough, but should be valued more in this game. So first of all, 40% is a lot. That's a huge amount of attack speed reduction. And because speed is so highly valued in this game, both through attack because it um, also gains you mana, um, but because it's dealing damage, you really want your team to be firing before your opponent's team. And she um, has this AOE effect of everybody. So like all the enemies touched by these feathers are going to have their attack speed reduced. And this works really well. 
Um, the feathers will also shield the champion, reducing their skill damage taken by 30%. So now you're taking less damage too. Not only is your team able to go off earlier, but uh, you're not taking as much damage. After the champion uses their ultimate skill for the first time, the feathers will go berserk, reducing the enemy's energy gain rate by 30%. So now not only is their attack speed lower, but so is their energy gain rate. Now I tend to use energy or mana interchangeably. Technically the term is energy. Um, once the energy bar is full, that's whenever the uh, champions can use their ultimate skill. So this is a very controlling passive effect. And another reason why I think she's underrated because you don't really see it manifest on the battlefield unless you're specifically watching her feathers first of all <laughs> but watching what's happening to the opponent too uh so she's good she's very 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 good i rate her very highly on my tier list in fact i might even underrate her she might i think i put her at a on my last tier list and she should probably actually be an s or somewhere in between i've actually um enjoyed using her more and more since then and it has to do with another champion that they've printed but anyway that's besides the point. Um, we're looking at Scarlet today, and uh, I think she is a fantastic first Bloodcraft Legend champion to get uh, because she's a little bit cheaper to get than the other ones as well. So a great starter one. If you haven't gotten any yet, you probably want to go after her first. Now, looking at the traits, we've got two clan traits here, and they're ones that already existed in the game uh, because she is a special kind of hybrid. Uh, the first one is Resilient. In battle, when constitution is below 30%, restores constitution by 4% of max constitution per second for 5 seconds. Uh, so that's a great way for her to get a little bit of healing, but it's not like an overpowered kind of trait or anything like that. But hulking is a great trait. I love hulking. And uh, if possible, you want hulking on one of your heroes in each of your teams. That's just my opinion, but I, I like to make sure that happens. When the battle starts, increases all champions strength by 5%. And after that, increases their strength by 2.5% every two seconds up to a total of 30%. This effect can't be stacked. And that's why you want one on uh, at least one of your champions uh, on each of your teams. Uh, but this is increasing the power uh, or the strength, uh, the damage that your team is going to deal to opposing teams is why I like to see it here. It's really good in PvP. It's even better against bosses when you have a lot longer time for that strength to build up and be used through the match. And now I've jumped into Dungeon Descent real quick just to show you how Scarlet works. I'm going to overwhelm this team, but I just want you to see the animation and everything. I put her on kind of a controlling team, so... Hopefully the other team can stick around a little bit for us to see her ultimate um, go off here. And she should be going off right now. So you're going to see her dash through all the opposing enemies. And that's how she does a really good job at ending up in like the back row or uh, in the middle potentially even. Um, and did you see the feathers falling too? Like this is why I say she's underrated because... Um, those feathers are slowing the attack down. Uh, it's slowing the energy down. Um, it's helping to keep your own team alive. Just a, a really good quality champion. And lastly, the kind of teams that she fits well on are really, well, anything. She can go on a more controlling team because of her controlling features. She can go on more of an area of effect damage team or AOE type of team. Um, she's just really versatile, kind of like a Swiss army knife. Wherever you need her to go, she's going to slot in really well. Um, so I like her for that, and it's why I think she's an absolutely magnificent hero, especially one to start with. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit that bell notification, and I will catch you in the next one.